So 2K dropped the patch this morning, and though we don't have all of the patch notes as usual, I got the word on the street. And the word on the street is that these patch updates are directly related to the ascertainment of badges, badge counts, VC, and uh, XP in a multiplicative capacity uh, as it as it pertains to how you get these and the the uh, quickness with which you can acquire these things. So uh, read between the lines on that, man. I can't I can't just tell y'all straight up. I can't tell y'all everything. Y'all gotta read between the lines on some of this stuff, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it, it does. Some people say it has been effective. Other others are saying that they able to do everything that they've been doing and uh, their progression is just fine. I don't know what to believe because 2K hadn't dropped the patch notes, but I'm sure they're going to drop them today. And as soon as they drop them today, we will be going over the patch notes uh, and, and, and checking out, letting us know what's going on. Now, what we do know hasn't happened is we know that uh, we know that the that shooting has been hasn't been touched dribbling hadn't been touched all those things have not been touched and i am ecstatic about it because y'all will see later in the video how i feel about this i like this game man y'all let me know if y'all like the game because i definitely do like it i'm very i'm really enjoying it i'm enjoying the cerebral chess match that goes on literally every game and all that good stuff man but look that's 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 not neither here nor there before we get started make sure y'all comment and like the video because on friday I'm going to go through the comments on the last five videos or every video I dropped this week. And if you have commented the secret word or what have you, then I'm going, oh, secret word, just the secret word or if just commented at all and like the video, you're going to be entered for a chance to win a $50 VC card because man, look, we know that VC is at a premium and these are VC intensive bills and with the, when with the patchment or, or lack thereof of certain methods of ascertaining these things, we know that uh, y'all need that VC, man. And also y'all want to make one of these, uh, one of these bills, man. So you know it is what it is. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Oh, and also when you like the video, it helps us get closer to that also covered at 100K. And without further ado, let's get the video underway. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out. Yesterday, the boy Uncle Demi sent the community into a frenzy. And, uh, hey, my boy Stax Montana said, let's just be clear. Just so we clear, Uncle Demi started this trend of replica bills in 2K23. This literally wouldn't have exploded like it did if it wasn't for him. Got to give him him his, his flowers. I totally agree. Uh, Joe No says, that's a fact. His tweet went viral and sent the whole community straight to the builder. And then my boy Shake says, Yo, follow 2K Lab. They got somebody who's like somebody got to make uh, the official list of the replica bills so we can we can tra keep track of this stuff. I'm seeing so many replica bills popping up uh, and making it's making my head spin. So yo, they did that. Um, that has been done. Like I said, check out NBA 2K Lab. And uh, you see Uncle Demi, he came right back with the tweet. He said, "Wow, I didn't know it was this many." I will have the link to this down in the description. But they said these are the Easter egg bills. NBA 2K Lab has dropped all of the Easter, Easter egg bills that we know about so far, as well as their attributes, ratings, and how to get them. And then the boy, Zach Timmerman, he came through and said, love the charts. Some, uh, some know this, but for those who do not, you can uncover these players in different ways. The attributes have some leeway. That's something that we wanted to know. Did you have to get it exact? or if there was some leeway. So the attributes have some leeway so they can be adjusted more uh, to your liking as, as long as you stay within certain uh, necessary boundaries. Also, more to be found. So more or less, he has gone through this list and uh, you know, he's just saying, hey, uh, and, uh, and like I said, this JP for high, right, this is this is the list, uh, but I think that's from NBA 2K Labs that put the list out. Uh, but I know NBA 2K Labs got a, got a list also. Was that him? But anyway, that's JP for three. That's the link that I'll be dropping in the uh, in the description uh, right now. So y'all can get all these bills. Y'all can make hell out of bills. And then y'all can go out there and, and put the VC that I'm going to give y'all Friday on these joints, man. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, only one person going to win. But you got to like the video and you got to comment down below. Check it out. So one of the bills that was made, man, this is one of the ones. I might actually make this one, man, because I love some AI. But the I threes were some of the best shoes ever. But uh, he made the answer, uh, Allen Iverson. Woohoo! Like I said, bro, it's tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. These are some bills that I never would have found because the level of this that these bills that you have to create the bill in order to get one of these, I, I just I just would have never done it. It just I never would have found these bills. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. It's just like 
because I try to make the bill a certain way. And then like when you make it, when you make it this way, you're just so deficient in some departments that it's just like, I never would have found it. So big shout out to Uncle Demi for finding them joints, man, because like I said, he in the building all day, he and Joe Nose in the building all the time, and I'm glad that they were able to do something to get the community all uh, lit. Speaking of ass bills, the boy Laker fan says, dudes making pure offensive bills and, and pure defensive liabilities to go two for 11 with six turnovers and probably 16 points worth of corner cuts on, on their ass and uh, countless offensive boards giving up and he ain't lying about that bro you, when, i'm telling you bro in this game if you don't make your bill right and if you're a defensive liability look those last year the backdoor cuts and stuff they didn't really matter because you know you was gonna get two but the other dude the little guard was coming back and getting three now that little guard not coming back and getting three so when he takes them shots and go two four eleven and then those and you don't get the rebound or something like that it really really impacts you know how the game is gone. That's why you gotta have bills like like me and Gambit. We got bills where we literally have hella rebounding on our bills and our brute two and interior, so we can switch everything. But our point guard can go get it, and we really try to compromise on as little as possible. But we definitely did not compromise on defense. That's something that you gotta learn in this game. It just is what it is, man. Like it's tough to it's it's tough to adapt. But we gotta adapt, man, and you know, not complain. Just learn how to play the game and adapt, and uh, all that good stuff. Solo DF says NBA 2K23 is the best since fill in the blank. I want y'all to do that down below. Fill in the blank down below. This is the best 2K since which 2K? Um, I, I would say it's the best 2K since 2K20, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I enjoy this game. I really enjoy the hell out of this game. It's just. Just a super dope game. And like I said, the cerebral chess match is the part that got me. You can't just do stuff. Like people got a lifetime of bad habits that they've been having where they just running around, reaching and running around, spamming threes and stuff like that. And it's just one of those it's situations where like they're struggling right now. And I just think it's asinine that people are, are struggling at a game that's not even a week old and they're mad. And, and instead of trying to learn the game, they want to go try to break the game. Like that, that kills me. But we're going to talk about that later on in the video. The Boy Power DF says, messages a uh, message to up, up and coming uh creators the first week of 2k may have been may have caused many of you to get more views than ever uh than ever do to the uh than ever due to the hype uh or, or some of you to struggle oh it might cause you to get more more views more views than ever due to the hype or for some of you to struggle it doesn't matter what matters is what you do the next couple of months it's not how you start it's how you finish stay consistent and i echo that sentiment man because like you you're gonna get more views right now and those views gonna start tapering off and falling off but you gotta have a plan with your content i feel like i got a plan with my content this year we're gonna bring y'all the news literally we're gonna try to bring it every single day and try to find something in the community that is that is you know that's gonna keep the community alive and keep this thing going but at the same time i got some series we got raging miller coming back you know we got all types of stuff like that man so you got to keep the content fresh but also keep it relevant you have to mix contemporary videos with with also videos that that are relevant all year so like you gotta you, you know yeah it's, it's a balancing act but i think we got it this year man uh up next hey the boy bp the god said i'm gonna be next up i'm gonna keep pushing until it happens listen bro that's the mentality that you gotta have in this content creation thing man because if you don't it's so easy to get sidetracked and it's just so easy to just be like yo I, I don't know. I don't know where I am or what I want to do. And like I said, that's the mindset. So we are gonna see you, BP the guy, make the BP bill, man. Hopefully that's gonna be the case, man. Power also says unpopular opinion. I actually like the city in 2K23. I'm digging the city, power. I'm not gonna lie to you. The only thing that I don't like is that is the is the required quest in order to push the my career story like you gotta go do like like you know what i'm saying like the you may have to go in i'm just i just want to play my career and rank this guy up but then i gotta go run to the office here real quick and run to that office real quick and do these things now it's cool and i understand that they want to push the story but that's the only thing but at least they made the city a lot smaller and everything is right there on the block so when you're on the block you know you don't have to go too many other places uh to progress the story so so i'm actually with that Woo, that boy got me Hey, but anyway, uh, up next, the, the boy G-Man says, shout out to Davis for real. This MF is a big reason I came back. Easily one of the goats in the 2K, uh, in this 2K shit. And, uh, but his character, but his character outside of, of it is inspiring and infectious. Give, give your flowers to the man. 
stop playing, appreciate you for real, and all that good stuff, man. So, you know, hey, G-Man saying he back, and it, Davis is one of the reasons that he got in, and big shout out to that boy, Davis, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Hey, community clips, bro, we gonna get up out of here. We, we rolling today, the boy Fanta, Hey, Fanta say, look, boy, hey, hey, I'm in my bag deep, boy. Hey, pull up, trays up, splash down. I ain't gonna lie, hey, hey, you out there, you out there doing your thing. I seen him, uh, I seen you take a couple of L's to Nike yesterday, but hey, it is what it is, boy. Hey, but who didn't lose to Nike yesterday? Hey, if y'all ain't following Nike, man, y'all need to go on Twitch. His link gonna be in the description. Go follow Nike. The dude is hilarious, number one. He probably one of the most unintentionally hilarious. You know some people like Brute, where they ain't even trying to be funny, but the dude is just funny because he just say funny stuff all the time. Like, that's how it is with Nike. Go follow him. And also, dude had a fireball going on the 10K yesterday. Clear that thing out. Jesus Christ. But, hey, you know, so he a funny dude. Uh, good to watch. Yeah, he, you know, he's a he's a content creator. He been he been doing his thing for a little minute. Go over there and watch him, man. Tell him he's easy to send you. Uh, hey, up next we got your boy Tonio. Hey, he's saying this is straight 2K15 vibes right here, man. You know what I'm saying? He got the badges and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, we just go <laughs> tween behind the back. Okay, okay, mix him up a little bit. Right. Woo, go straight down Broadway. Get up off the floor. Go behind the back. Okay, here we go. One more time. Right. Ooh, hey, it looked like he has mastered the meter, man, and he pulling that joint up, and uh, he getting on that Riznium. That's another, hey, hey, I ain't going to lie, boy. I like when dudes get on their rim. Let me tell you why I like when dudes be getting on their rim, because when you get on the rim, that makes people have to bite down. Like, this is one of those 2Ks you're really going to have to play this year. You're going to have to attack, 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 and when they help, you're going to have to steam something to the corner, or you're going to have to step back or something like that and trust your teammates and stuff. That's what I really like about this game, man. It's just, it's just like I said, the cerebral chess match that goes on is awesome. Uh, one per, uh, what's who this is? Uh, Dr. Legend says, uh, Interceptor is not needed in this game at all. I don't, ha I don't even equip it. Now, that's dope. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, yeah, you, you might be right on that. You don't need Interceptor. As a matter of fact, I say, I, I wish my people don't even put it on because, because, the number of interceptions that you're gonna get in this game, that is cool, but at the same time, um, at the same time, it's like, is it really worth the badge? And is it worth going for it? Because when you go for them and you don't get them, which you didn't show in the video, the thousands that you do reach for, and they just go over your head or it zoom, 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 like, that's not in the video, obviously. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like those are the ones that get on your nerve and, and, and irritate you, but, I think a lot of those we just shouldn't be going for anyway. With them putting Interceptor as a tier three badge for a lot of people, I think it makes people not only, I think it, it does a great job to not only, if you didn't invest that much in defense, you're not gonna get it anyway. So you don't have Interceptor all over the court and the passing lanes are there. But at the same time, if you're reaching and you don't got Interceptor, you might end up over there in West somewhere. You don't know where you're gonna end up. And I think that just opens up the game and just makes it, uh, you know, makes it a lot, a lot more playable as far as uh, the different game modes. But, hey, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, though, uh, boy, hey, it might take you a, it might take you a hundred times to do what he just did to just get one of those steals, bro. You're not getting them consistently. I don't think anybody is. Uh, but, hey, hey, yard mine. Moving again. Moving again. Yard mine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, tween, tween. Oh, step back. Oh, okay, okay. Size them up. Okay, spin back. Trays up. Splash down, walk off on them, y'all mind. That's what I'm talking about right there. Y'all mind said, hey, look, bro, I'm going to figure out how to play the game, man, and I can't even deny it because that's what I like when people say, I'm going to figure this thing out, and I'm going to adapt and overcome, oh, hum, hum. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't like for... I don't like for people to play the game and just want it to be like he already said I'm a self proclaimed I'm not go where the cheeses get busy and I like that but then he also is accepting the challenge that, okay they don't want me to cheese okay cool I will figure out how to play the game the way that I want to play it and still be successful but I'm not gonna what I'm not gonna do is complain about the game and say it's trash and they need to do this and that and make it be to, to my liking so uh, so I'm with that the boy Stack says are we even uh, is this even a basketball game anymore them boys out there dancing what they doing what that thing the uh what was that what the, the river dance on your boy <laughs> hey sometimes you think about that but you got to do them quests though because those quests have to be done man hey hey waves uh ask about waves says jump shot 25 is chicken 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to ask him what jumper that is though. Cause uh, yeah, that is jump shot 25, and it, uh, set shot 25, and it is chicken. Anybody know what that one is? Let me know down in the comment section, cause we need to know. We need to know. Hey, um, up, up, uh, we also got a quick stop, quick stop tutorial coming. Hey, that's what uh, that's what Panda saying, man. Uh, Panda saying S V S V A Panda. Okay, okay, okay. Getting it. Uh, uh, uh. Quick stop tutorial. Hey, but my boy Quavius was having none of it. He says this cute until you play some Hawks. Yeah, that boy Quavius. He ain't out there playing with her. He already told y'all at the beginning of the year. A lot of y'all about to be. He already told y'all that. That boy is doubling down. He ain't backing down. And I love it. That's why I be, you know, I be in this stream a lot too, man. Like you said, he ended up grinding, trying to figure the game out. He's another person. Played played the way he wanted. Okay, so he tried last year he tried to play the way he wanted to. And and it didn't work the way that he wanted to. So he adapted to that game and played, played the game in a way that he never played it before, which was running around on the small guard and, and just getting busy, adapted to that. And then this year, he like, hey. I'm, I'm cool with the changes that they made. I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to adapt. That's what we like to see in the community, and that's why I tweeted this one out. Your boy Jay E just said, I cannot lie. So big shout out to Quavo for that, man. Changing up his play style, not only last year to fit a play style that he really didn't like, but then getting back to what he does like, and then y'all wonder why he going to be busting y'all ass in a couple of months. So, you know, it is what it is. Up next, hey, hey Jay E just said, I cannot lie, the czar, and the team did a marvelous job on this game, especially in regards to balancing it. It just sickens me that rather than try to adapt, the community is hell bent on breaking the game to serve their play style. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, this is one of those things where I'm just like, bro, I just want people to try to play the game the right way. There is no real right way to play the game, but at the same time, you can't, like in Call of Duty, I'm a rusher. So when I rush, I can't be like, well, I want to rush and I want to be successful while I'm rushing. Gym stars, get up on that rim. Two pull-ups for the gym stars. But anyway, I, I can't be mad that I can be mad that I can't rush, but I can't be mad that I can't rush and be successful. So you're going to be able to do what you want to do, but but you just might not be successful at it. It's your right to play how you want to, just not your right to be successful. Successful, um, you know, how you want to be successful, if that makes sense. The boy JD said, facts definitely have to give credit to the game. Uh, right now, it looks great. I don't know why people can't just adjust. They always want things the way that they used to be in this community. But hey, this is what the people said. They want an IQ and uh, team basketball to reign supreme. So, you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, my boy Down work hilarious, bro. He got that usher up there. He said, at Baluba, when the community said shooting was too easy, now you swear you timed it right in 2K23 and the whole time is and get a hole early. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy, that, that happens a lot. Like, you swear you timed it right and the next thing you see, early, late, whatever. But those things and slightly and stuff like that. And I know I'm timing it the exact same way. It is what it is though, man. This is what we asked for. But I think that everybody just always thinks that when we ask for something, like we want dribbling to be harder. We want shooting to be harder. We wanted demigods the other year. When we got these things, you forgot that you're gonna have to abide by the same rules or you're going to have to guard that shit. Like that's it. You either gonna have to guard it or you're gonna have to, but you also gonna have to abide by the same rules. So if you can't adapt to the fact that you're just going to miss shots in this game and make bills that can rebound and play better defense so that you can close out possessions, you're gonna lose. If you can't, if you can't figure out that that I need to do, you know, certain things in order to, to 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 be successful at this game, you're gonna lose, and you should lose. And I hope they don't change the game. And I hope that anytime somebody finds an exploit, they 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 get it out of the game immediately as quickly as possible, and they continue to make this thing be the cerebral chess match that it was meant to be, and not be some some cheese fest that it has been for the last last you know few two Ks. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. If you made it this far, I want y'all to put um. I want y'all to put put Nike N Y K E down there in the joint, uh, in the in the thing. If you made it this far, man, and uh, I'ma holla at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please.